Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your therapy. Sit down, relax, have a seat. I'm kidding. <laughs> Good morning, America. Look what is Sal repping today. Oh, 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 look at this, Virgos. We're healers, like just like you. Healers. And they go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Uh huh. We are doctors of the heart, that's what I say. I'm sorry if you're a real doctor, right? I just disrespected you. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is where the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I mean, I do operate with my hands, the heart of those people who are dead, who cannot love, okay? I'm gonna spray that, a little bit of protection spray, so we operate on them clean, okay? <laughs> Let's see what's going on for my Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. A lot of people ask me, where do I get my jokes? I also don't know. <laughs> Maybe in my past life, I was never serious. That's why now I have to be serious. Okay, here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm pretty sure I was a page. <laughs> Even now, maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Let's let, let me alone, Virgos. Let me alone. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Oh my, Virgos. I feel here... Uh, that's just a mantra because I'm doing some some sort of celebration. It's my birthday. Today's my birthday. I want to call it my birthday. Okay. Hmm. But why am I the one giving gifts? Okay. <laughs> I sense here there's a lot of things watching you. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, in reference to pentacles, okay, because I see here a lot of pigeons. Okay. Now, of course, all these pigeons are going to S-H-I-T on you. But in some belief, you know, the S-H-I-T is blessings. So, you know, we'll expect a lot of shit, but it's actually pentacles. Okay. So first the shits, and then, you know, blessing comes after. Okay, that's what I see here. Let's see the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. The love. <laughs> oh. Let's go, Virgos. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, let's see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I can say. It's a loving energy. The person is in love. You're in love. Okay. But it's never, you know, love is never enough. That's what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. So maybe there's really love between the two of you, but it's not enough. But remember, when I get this, the, the lovers, actually, it's actually more of your card than Gemini because I always put this at the sixth house because you guys are the sixth, you know, the sixth house health, losses and debts and stuff like that. No, I think, no, you are guys, well, there's two houses for debts, I think. But, you know, it's like losing a partner, losing the soulmate. That's how I associate with this one. You could be connecting with a Sagittarius also. Um, but of course, this is a Gemini card. Okay, so that's what I can see here. Interesting. That escalated fast. Okay. For some, this is business partners at the same time. Ooh, Three of Cups. A reunion. There's a party. If it's a song, there's a party over here right now. It's an old song, I believe. Okay. Um, Three of Cups. Pouring each other's cup into one cup. Wow, really? Never see that. Meaning, both are happy. And they're contributing to even bigger happiness. Oh, uh, when you guys talk, when you guys communicate, you guys both became even more happy. Oh, that's genuine feelings. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's see then. What else? Next to the lover's card, the two of wands. So they're wondering, they've been thinking about you. I think it's more of this person, whoever is on this side. Okay. They're wondering what their lover is doing. Okay. That's good. I'm getting goosebumps, so it's good. I'm pretty sure, you know, I think so. Now, either it's a horror story because horror story gives me goosebumps, okay? Just letting you know. With the two of ones energy here, there could be distance between the two of you. This is the path of chosen for me also. Now, the path of chosen, it says like they're not entertaining anybody. They, they, they're more linked to making you happy but it can go vice versa of course but they don't know if they should be the one to step up they should be the one to express it because two of ones is not a courageous card it's a moment of stillness okay let me see here the other person oh knight of pentacles you come towards them interesting because this is an earth energy it could be a virgo taurus capricorn you coming towards them but this is already the interaction that two of you have it's almost like this person likes it that it's it's slow and steady. So if you're doing something that is 
not in a creeper way where it's low because you have you know you're gonna jump them later on you're just really just taking a time they like it they're happy that it's just like you know what or maybe this is you i'm okay with this right now and i'm very happy that we're at this right now because right now we have love for each other and it's just the right amount that's good that's good okay works okay let me see here under the lovers let's see Four of Swords. A lot of thinking that you have gone through. The clarity has been absorbed. You've rested from a heart heartache. Um, I feel you're reborn. Here, Virgo. This is the Om card, right? Om. You know, raising your vibration. Um, and don't worry if you're saying, "Oh, I raised my vibration and there's nobody there for me." Remember, the universe is there for you. So of course, it's but it's just natural for the body to need another body. So the physical form is actually defective. <laughs> okay, because it needs the touch, it needs the other person, it's the physical form. But in spirituality, the universe is there with you, and that's what the Four of Swords is. And that's what you that's what you can be practicing right now. It's just like I have reached a point, not the I, not the me, the vibration of the person, you as a being, has reached a point where it the confidence of the spiritual side in you transcends outside, and here comes the partner. There you go. Now you know. Okay. Let me see the other person. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> you have here the Empress card. I told you. The relationship comes to you. Can be a Taurus or a Libra. Is Venus. Someone here. Um, mm, interesting. Wherever their Venus is. It's very... Mm, really? Because I'm pretty sure... It's well, I don't when you know, considering not, not believing in malefic and um, benefic pla planets, but it's if it's in water, I'm not sure how. Oh, this is what they're talking about Venus and Moon conjunct, not in water, and that's not good, I think. <laughs> I think Venus and Moon being together, I'm not sure if it's good, but there's some sort of that energy. It can be a Gemini rising also, um, that you're connecting with, um, but I believe. It's almost like this person can breathe when there's so much emotion and feelings. And that's why right now, this person likes it. There you go. Now you know. <laughs> so the way that you have to treat, especially like that kind of conjunct is, uh, I don't know why I'm teaching you this, is to be more mellow on it. Because the person will drown or they're going to drown and they can't do it. They, they can't, they can't, they can't. That's why the person, if, if they're having that, they just can't. And right now they can't. You got me. They're liking it. They're loving it. They're living for this right now. Whoever you're connecting with Virgo. This person has has never looked so good, okay, because of you. Oh, trust me. This is because of you. It's not, uh, it's not anything else. The reason why they're healthy is because of you. The reason why they're looking good is because of you. The reason you're the reason. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to put you in a high horse because that's where you do. That's what they're saying here. Because your vibration affected their life. In a different way. But of course, I'm going to tell you this also, Virgo. You're not together with this person. Not at all. Not at all. But their life is good though. So you should be happy. Okay? <laughs> Just saying. You're not with them. But the way that you're executing your energy towards this person. I think we've done this in the previous read. Is to let, let it be. It's still working. It's totally working. And now, move now to the energy where you slowly become a creeper. Like you slowly move. Slowly move. Slowly move. Just do it gently. Okay? So if it's a song, break it to me gently, all right? So thank you very much, Virgo, for watching. I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward, as these things progress slowly but surely. Thank you very much, Virgos. Bye. Yeah, with the judgment, <laughs> and then they push you. Intuition, follow your intuition. Ten of cups. Other people, why are you talking to other people? Da, 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 da. With the lovers. Impulsive. Very determined. Psychic. 